Hi, Chef Ryan Phillips here. Have you ever tried to prank your family or friends with some unusual food? Well, I tried that with today's recipe a few years ago and it totally backfired because everybody loved it so much. It's whole dried anchovies with nuts and seeds and spices. That is Miochi Boko. All right, so check out these whole dried anchovies. You wanna use some that are about this size. Step one, we are going to make sure the texture of our anchovies is just right. So we wanna get rid of any excess on these. And you can see maybe there's just a little bit of powder falling off of them. That away, we'll have a nice solid texture to these. Set this aside for later and let's prep up some ingredients. I've got about four cloves of garlic to just slice thinly. I absolutely love the freshness and quality of Korean garlic. The only way you could come close to it is if you grow your own. It's just got this crunch and juiciness to it. Next, we've got these red dried Korean chilies. You could use any kind of dried chili. And I'm gonna take some seeds out of here first. Get rid of that bitterness. Go. Okay, so we've got three dried red chilies. We're just gonna cut them into little strips about uh, maybe two millimeters thick or so. Now that we're prepped up, let's get the pan good and hot, high heat, and wait one minute or so for that to get nice and toasty. Pan's good and hot. Two tablespoons of cooking oil, garlic in, dried chilies, and our whole anchovies. Well, now that we've got everything mixed up, go ahead and turn your heat down really low because those anchovies and the garlic can burn so easily. And we gotta cook this for about five minutes over low heat. So just keep stirring for five minutes and get everything really nice and toasty. So a few years ago, I, I tried to surprise my family or trick my family over the holidays. I was back visiting and I brought some of these anchovies with me and made this dish. And I just set it on the counter next to all the cakes and the cookies and all the snacks. And I thought that I was gonna get a nice reaction out of some people, but, uh, but no, I just noticed everybody was just, just eating them just like it was another one of their normal things. Um, I guess that's a testament to how good this is. Um, nobody was put off by finding these whole little fish in their food. I can see now that we're getting some nice color on here. Um, these have gone to a little bit of a shade of brown and you can smell that anchovy dryness to it and the chilies and the garlic coming together. So that tells me it's time to get some more ingredients in. I've got about 100 grams of walnuts and just about three tablespoons of almonds. Pumpkin seeds, two or three tablespoons and sunflower seeds, two tablespoons. Next, I've got this natural raw sugar that's gonna add a lovely sweetness to this. Just a tablespoon. Just a little bit of soy sauce. Don't wanna make this too salty. Half tablespoon of sesame oil. Now, just a few sesame seeds. One tablespoon and five tablespoons of water. 
just to bring everything together. This is a Korean rice syrup or mulyot. It's not super sweet, but it adds this lovely shiny stickiness to it. So let's go about five tablespoons here. Now we're just gonna cook this until that water is evaporated out and everything is sticky together. Okay, that moisture is evaporated. Fire off. Yeah, I love this stuff. Yochi Bokum is done. Look at that. So this is a side dish. Um, so let's try it this way first. But now let me tell you, my friend's mother gave me a large portion of this recipe right here. And I didn't know Korean culture of having side dishes as much as I do now. And I ate it all while watching one movie because it's that, it's that good. It's just such a lovely kind of snack. Trust me, you're gonna love Myochi 